Hi there, Titans. My name is Paige, and today I will be showing you how to configure your document generation settings to push a file into Salesforce in Titan Web. So in this example, I will have my users create a contact by submitting their first name, last name, and date of birth. And then upon clicking this button, it will create the contact and it will upload a dynamic file to Salesforce based on this contact information. So the very first step that we need to do is to configure our template in Word. And here I have this ready for us here. You can see that I have mapped for the contacts full name to be integrated here, then their birth date, and then they'll have their full name here as well. Once you have your template completed, then you can go to the sidebar over here. Whoops. Click on preview and then click copy to publish. You would choose web because this is a web project. You can choose which web project you want to upload this template to. And then you choose whether it's a new integration or an existing template that you want to update. Here you can name your template. So I'm going to name it random terms and conditions. Perfect. And then the last step is just making sure that our filters will state that the contact ID or whatever your uh, parent object is equals the record ID. So then you can click save and click publish. Now it's uploaded to Titan Web and we can return to our web project. All right, so the first step that we need to do is to configure our settings on that template that was just uploaded. So you can go to the setting we settings wheel here, go to tools, then document generation. Here's that template that we just uploaded. Then we can click edit. Here we can see the template that we uploaded, that file. If you ever need to re-download that file, you can. There is, here is where you can change the label if you prefer. Now this record ID is really important that we map it to that um, parent object that we had in the template. And so for me, that was the contact ID. And this is the parameter that we are passing when that contact is created, then it will come pass to the parameter and it will map out the fields on the template. So now we can choose our output format. It's automatically a doc because it came from wet Word. But if you want it to be a PDF, you absolutely can make it a PDF. And then you can convert it to Titan 2. That is um, a, a quick option for you to choose. And this will be the file that is mapped to Salesforce. So if you want that file to be a PDF, then you should choose PDF. And if you want that file to be a Word document that can be edited and changed, then you should choose um, docx. So once this is done, we can click apply and then we can click close. And the next thing that we need to do is map the push. So we can click on our next button here and then click on the on click action button here. And this will take you to our rules. So we already have two rules here. This first rule is saying that we are going to create the contact and it's gonna to pass to the contact ID that will then map the template and then the second rule is that we will go to the next tab. So the third rule that we want to configure is making that push for the file. And we need to make sure that this rule happens after the contact is created because we are using fields from that contact record in Salesforce. So this will be a Salesforce action. You can configure a Salesforce integration. Go to push and create new. Let me remove this. Create new. It's going to be a file. You name it push doc generation. The action will be create. Go to mapping, and there are three things that we need to map. The first thing, let's map the title. This is the title of the file once it is stored in Salesforce. So I want it to be a custom title. And I'm going to configure this to be the contact's first name and then the contact's last name. 
And then I'm going to type in time terms and conditions. Perfect. So now that that is configured, I will click apply. And then the other two things that we need to map version data, this is the document. So you can find it right here, doc gen, and then there's our template. And then the first published location will be where you want this to be stored. And I want it to be stored on a contact record so I can send it to that parameter contact ID. And I'll click apply, close. This is where we need to set it back to that button, the next button. So we are going to assign the push for the doc generation, then click apply, apply, save. And that is all we need to do to push the file into Salesforce. So I can now preview this for you. This is where we'll create a new contact. And then we'll choose next. And this is creating the contact, going to the next tab, and now it's generating that document that is pushing to Salesforce. And so once that's done, it's going to say thank you. And we can go into our integration logs to see how this pushed in the Salesforce. So we can see that the contact was created, the document was generated, and the web word has a record ID as well. So I'm going to click here to see the contact that I created and that document that was generated. Let me go to the contact record. And here we have Gary Weathers and his file. And you can see it says Gary Weathers, Titan Terms and Conditions, and it's a PDF. And when I click on it, we can see his name, his birth date, and the format that I chose, and his name here as well. So it's really, really cool stuff. You're able to really make dynamic documents and push it into Salesforce within seconds. So I hope that this tutorial helped, and thank you for watching.